80 y frenar izquierda 7 ya. ¡Ah! ¡Ah! ¡Mierda!
stretch, going to turn three. Oh, oh. contacted Gregson into the wall hard. Austin did not expect to 99 to cope to come back up the hill that way. Сейчас мы видим, что это скачило. Да нет, похоже, что был полный переворот. Переворот через крышу, разбились стекла. Ну, небольшой скорости поскач. Да, похоже на то, что небольшая влажность система может расти. Так очень холодно, Рахматуля теряет машину, долетит до удар. E o Fraga não vai pontuar, então a distância pode subir para Olha aí, Antônio Pisoni deles, Narvá. Eles estavam invertendo posições, era briga pela 13 posição. Olha, olha o que acontece com o Lucas Pérez. Batida forte do Lucas, hein? Ficou. Forte. Boa. E o Robo vai para cima do Pedro por dentro. Os dois se tocaram. Os dois se tocaram no S. Prejuízo imenso e ali atrás João Rossati também. Olha a situação da carenagem do João. Vazamento na pista. Vai ter que parar, não tem jeito. Nada, nada menos, mirá. Aí está, saiu de cola, picou no piano. Outra vez saiu complicado o Ciantini, não pudo aproveitar o crapado de um despiste. Saiu cruzado. Carinelli. Quem sabe, Mendanha está 20. Chico, lo vimos correr na porta. Mirá, tá, Fernandes. Tá, Fernandes por adentro, dá conta de Ayrton Boni. Ui, se tocaram. No que Piña se engancharam. Le dio al paredón, qué lástima, cómo se engancharon. Primer parte que no da tregua, ah, papá. Claudio, Claudio, Menzi, Claudio Menzi, Alejo Gravero. Ah, pa, esto es un golpe de escena para el campeonato, eh. Y ahora también Alterio y varios despistes, varios, así desparramos. Miramos ahí dos el animadores. Garbiglia también. Con el Sara está ganando, pero se va afuera, eh. Salió eyectado para afuera. Una lástima, llegó muy rápido a la curva y terminó como Sebastián Lueb. Very big moment coming out of Sterling's. Yes, that's the most. It's Janetta versus Audi for the lead. Whoops, that is Van der Ende being given a squeeze by Lara Kreihammer, and off the road he goes and hard into the barrier. But I think Fred Rubich either anticipated it perfectly or got a real flyer. Raffaele Marchiello either seemed to be asleep at the wheel, which I do not believe because he's a pretty smart, sharp guy. But certainly he got dropped and was uh, devoured by the two Audis following. Oh, Muller just gets it slightly sideways and oh, a big crash into the tyre barriers. I don't think there was contact, it was just a, a big slide and a spin round into the, the tyre barriers. Look at that. Lucas Dunner, Dunner to the inside. And the Austrian could see the accident happening long before it did. Tian 
Montreal might be the man to beat you. He, of course, originally came from Cape Town. And, oh, how's that for a start from Lauren? And here we are coming back down the front stretch now. Oh, uh -oh. Nolan, can you hang on oh, to it? Oh. No, big, big rollover for Nolan. And a wheel has come off and hit the bridge just at the bottom there. And Nolan gets a little unloaded sideways, can't quite collect. Goes off with about three wheels there. The ramp goes sideways. And just as we saw, similar to Dantas last year, you got to have all four on there. Here it is. Force to do it. Look at Here is Harlan. No, no! no! Oh, it's squeezed at the last moment and trucks scattering everywhere, including Cole Potts, who came in at a high rate of knots. Here's the replay looking outside. So Lion Dyke comes down the corner. Harlan saw a gap there, and then Lion Dyke. They ran out of ramp, basically. And lucky not to roll oh, it any he further. Got, he, he got so lucky on that yeah, one. Very lucky. Look at Potts. Oh, oh. He pulled out behind Brabham, unsighted. À l'entame du deuxième tour, le début de course est marqué par un accident impliquant la biplace 378 Nitro 44 by Acom Racing. Heureusement, Xavier Mesquita et les autres pilotes... <rire> Vu comme ça, il y avait un... Ouh là là, Ouh, oui, ça a tapé euh, fort et vite là, euh, dans, le, dans le muret. Il y a eu une incompréhension là entre deux pilotes, semble-t-il. Et, et voilà, on voit Jérémy Sarri là, qui est parti en tête à queue au milieu du peloton. Et qui a touché Jorgen Van Over dans la bagarre. Yeah, I mean,